the numbers count. This is very important for us. We um, use this data primarily to, a couple things, primarily to get a picture of what uh, homeless situations look like on Guam, because there are different situations for different people. Guam Homeless Coalition Chair Margaret Hattori is talking about the annual point in time, homeless count. Every year, the count is done throughout the nation and territories. For Guam, the count is scheduled for January 29. We like to find out the characteristics of the homeless, and also, very importantly, it gives us data to provide to HUD in order to apply for our grant uh, funding. And the grant fundings are very important to fund things like the homeless shelters. Um, it funds programs such as Lighthouse Recovery Center. Um, it also funds uh, some of our programs for teenagers, uh, for children. Volunteers are needed to go village to village and collect the data. We um, are always looking for volunteers. In particular, if anyone that has counted before uh, would like to count again, um, we need more team leaders. Um, but definitely anybody is welcome that wants to help. Guam's data includes not only those living on the streets, but those living in substandard or inadequate housing. According to the 2015 count, 1,280 individuals were homeless or lived in substandard housing. This is a slight decline from 2014's 1,356. Data also shows that Chamorros and Chukis populations continue to make up the highest reported ethnic group of homeless. Reasons for homelessness ranged from personal choice to financial problems and unemployment. It's not a huge number compared to Hawaii uh, and some of the other states, the bigger states, but for us it is definitely a concern because um, when you look at, at who's homeless or who's suffering, uh, it covers a broad span. It's not just, you know, the typical myth is it's a you know, a male, single, living on the street, maybe alcoholic or a drug abuser. But we see, do see a lot more uh, families, uh, women with children, um, and these people are struggling. And so for us to end that cycle of homelessness, I think we need to reach out to those families. If you would like to volunteer, contact John Bloss at 989-0234 or 5. All volunteers must first attend a training in advance. The coalition is also in need of canned goods or hygiene supplies. These items are given to those who participate in the count. To make a donation, call Stephanie Guzman at 475-7101. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Crystal Paco.